Welcome to Brighter Times. Is it time to start living and enjoying your life? Are you ready to have a little adventure? How about a different millionaire's view for free every day? Would it be nice to follow comfortable weather year round? Is having an 80 to 90% smaller footprint something that appeals to you? Is it possible to have all this on a small fraction of the cost of your current lifestyle? Continue watching to view what standard features you can own, including a brand new van for thousands less than the cost of the average new vehicle. Let's get started. From the outside, we can see the crank out awning. It takes less than 30 seconds to roll out or in and does not require any legs or tie downs to trip over to hold it in place. It is attached to a 600 pound capacity roof rack with all the metal components of both heavily powder coated to prevent corrosion or rust. This is an environmentally friendly process that electromagnetically bonds the finish to the metal. Should you decide to add as an option a Thule cargo box or maybe a kayak someday, it can more than handle the load. These are front window shade vents which allow you to safely leave your windows cracked on a warm day or to provide a little ventilation to avoid condensation on a chilly night. This is a fine mesh insect netting that fits like a sock over the windows and attaches with magnets across the bottom in just moments. Use this in conjunction with the exhaust fan to remove heat or condensation. Both screens fit rolled up into this canvas bag to about the size of a grapefruit sliced in half. In order to keep the price low, but still be able to offer a bespoke or custom fabric and wood finish, the cabinets, ceiling, wall panels, and flooring, etc. are all built the same. You get to choose the upholstery material by giving us a link to Amazon. We recommend for the partition to have a gray or black vinyl for the back side of your fabric that faces the front of the van for stealth purposes. The wood stain colors can be picked out from any box store color charts, with the only requirement being that they're the less toxic water-based variety. Pictured is the Verathane brand cognac stain for the countertop and table over golden oak for the bed and cabinets. You can choose your luxury vinyl plank flooring as well. Moving on to the features of the donor van itself, it's a Ford Transit Connect long wheelbase XL cargo model, a work truck. This is for the long wheelbase model which comes with a ton of standard features including the collision avoidance system. I believe from the 2019 models forward, most have these as standard features as well. We can use any 2014 long wheelbase cargo model forward, but there will be a few less features on the older models. You can even start the van with your cell phone in bed, so on a chilly morning you can add about 150 watts for every 15 minutes of runtime. More about that later. A remote starter system can be added to the older models as well. If you're not familiar with the remote start system, no one can drive off without placing a key at the ignition. We also like the 100A package as it adds a larger screen that you can connect to your phone for GPS and music. The rear windows are an extra $295 if you wish. With approved credit, my local dealer can finance the conversion along with the van. And we can also assist with the used van purchase as well if you like. Here's an example of the speaker carpet that we affixed with heat resistant contact cement to the exposed bulkheads and inner metal framework for a nice finished appearance. The overhead wood panels are insulated and recessed into the bulkheads to add another couple of inches for headroom. Instead of drawers and doors that open and protrude into the interior space, we use sliding doors that have shelving behind them for easier access. Note the spice jars that magnetically attach above the towel rack. Here is a coat hook along with a shoe rack and an extra place to hang your towels to dry. The lower cubby holds the Blue Eddy 200 watt portable solar panels along with the collapsible shower slash toilet tent. There is plenty of room as well for bedding. These collapsible canvas storage bins fit neatly under the couch. Much more storage is accessible from the rear or trunk area separated from the easily accessible electronics by a partition. There is even room for an optional small microwave oven facing out the back. Included standard is a three-quart Instapot and an induction cooktop which takes up less space than the microwave and can accomplish the same tasks. For backup, there's also a Coleman single burner butane stove. Overhead is the exhaust fan which can be used with the front windows cracked to remove condensation or for ventilation. Some think that it is necessary to have one of those large Max Air or Fantastic fans which are designed for full-size motorhomes or trailers. We find that this is a huge overkill and negates the stealth appearance of the van. These fans have been used for over 20 years for smaller trailers and truck campers. Here we see how easily the back-to-back -back couches fold down and make into a bed.
The platform for the bed is built out of a 2x3 and 2x6 framework that has 4-8 to eight pocket screws per piece and has also been glued with carpenter's glue at each joint. Critical stress points have hidden metal brackets for extra support. The platform the 4 inch medium density foam cushions rest upon is 3 quarter inch finished birch plywood, so there is no lumpiness that could be caused by the use of sliding slats. In the bed mode it is 43 inches wide, which is 5 inches wider than a twin, and 72 inches long. Here you can stream on your laptop in bed. This table folds down and attaches like so for interior use in inclement weather as well as for a desk or workstation. It can also attach to the rear door of the van as well as the opposite side of the counter for use under the canopy. Here we have a 42 quart compressor type refrigerator freezer that on average uses less than 20 watts per hour in 90 plus degree heat. It holds the equivalent of 48 cans of soda. There are many reasons why we use this type of system with the separate components and portable type solar panels. The problems we have with the all-in-one type of generators is threefold. Most only use the older style, less expensive lithium batteries, which can only be recharged about 500 times or for about a year and a half or so of use. We use the newer lithium iron phosphate style, which have a capability of four to 8,000 charge cycles and still retain up to 80% of their capability, giving 10 or more years of use. Secondly, should any one of the components fail in one of these power stations, there might be difficulties in replacing a proprietary component. This could cause for the need of a total replacement. In a modular system such as ours, any one of the components can be easily replaced by off-the-shelf pieces from many different companies. We will also be able to troubleshoot for as long as the vehicle is in service for free any problems that might arise 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 365 days a year. In addition, for two years we will personally guarantee any electronic components that might fail, parts and freight on us, up to and including the fridge. We will also provide a video with step-by-step -step simple install instructions as well. If replacement of any of these components seems too intimidating, most car stereo shops as well as any reputable auto shop or car dealership can install them in just a few minutes. The third problem we have with the all-in-one system is that though they can be charged efficiently by solar, the only way to charge them from the van alternator is through a cigarette lighter plug requiring up to 12 hours time, necessitating the van to be running to not kill its battery. The advantage that they do have though is the ability to charge from a wall outlet, but that takes up to 5 hours time. The 50 amp DC to DC charger in our system, under optimum conditions and with the 200 watt solar panels, can charge a nearly discharged battery in 5 or 6 hours. It also allows for the van battery to be charged first if the solar is needed, so you should never be left stranded. This component also allows the house battery to be charged whenever the van is running. It achieves this in about 2 hours from normal driving or idling with the van's standard oversized 150 amp alternator. All of this is done automatically. There are three reasons we use the heavy-duty 200-watt Blue Eddy portable solar panels as opposed to a flat roof mount system. The first being that you are less stealthy if you sometimes overnight in urban locations. More importantly, in a flat stationary position, you would only receive a couple of hours of optimum sun at midday. By moving the panels around a couple of times a day, along with the flat position to follow the sun, you can optimize charging. Most importantly, we feel is the ability to park the van in the shade and the cables extend up to 16 feet from the van to allow for this. Keep a little spray bottle of watered down ammonia solution or vinegar to spray around the panels to keep dogs from hiking a leg if you are camping around others. Should you be stuck in inclement weather for a few days in a row and don't move around, you can idle the van for about 30 minutes adding 300 watts to your house battery, enough to run your refrigerator and lights for a day in 75 degree weather. As this van only burns about two tenths of a gallon of fuel per hour at idle and park without the AC on, it would only consume about one tenth of a gallon or about 35 cents worth of fuel at 350 a gallon in those 30 minutes. Follow us along on the 34.7 mile per gallon video on our channel to verify this. It's a 65 mile long combination of urban and highway miles and has simple techniques to get better mileage. More information on van features is included in this video as well. The 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter can power with ease the 3 quart instant pot and the new wave induction portable cooktop. A Coleman self-igniting butane single burner stove is included as well for a backup. 
Both the Instant Pot and the induction cooktop are up to 70% more efficient than a traditional stove from home. If you like to bake, check out collapsible solar ovens. Not included, but take up only a tiny amount of space. The pure sine wave inverter costs us more, but protects your electronics as well as having overload protection. There is a regular 110 volt outlet with three cigarette lighter outlets, along with five USB ports in total. LED lighting is placed around the interior perimeter of the van that can be adjusted to many colors and brightness levels with the remote. This little clip-on fan provides an amazing breeze and can be recharged by USB. Our plumbing begins with a 5-gallon, easy-to-sanitize, water-grade plastic jerry can under the sink. There is no need for a submersible pump and extra wiring as the faucet has a self-priming pump built in, which can also be charged via USB. It's amazing how frugal we can be when we are aware of just how much water or electricity we are using. For drinking water, the general consensus is about two quarts per day are needed. Incredibly, for showering, unless you have a lot of hair, two quarts with a garden sprayer is more than adequate. A little spray bottle works great for washing dishes, hands, and vegetables with a minimal amount of water. Two quarts for this, and on an average day, would require about a gallon and a half of water, or about 10 gallons per week. We recommend purchasing six Arizona iced tea gallon jugs as they are not likely to leak to carry water in a shopping cart from the purified water vending machines. Two trips gives you an extra gallon of water for the week. These jugs store easily in the passenger floor. Walmart, Dollar General, and most supermarkets have machines. Just Google local water vending machines. These have reverse osmosis filtration, which removes over 95% of all minerals and solids. No minerals also mean about 70% less soap and shampoo requirements, and much better tasting beverages. It also provides smoother skin and super soft hair. The sink drains into the aluminum gray water tank under the van, which has an electric drain valve that is controlled by a switch near the sink. For no mess cleanup, it can't be any simpler than this three gallon bucket for number two. Biodegradable bags are available to fit and you can store them along with a spare roll of toilet paper in the bottom of the bucket. This is a great place for food scraps as well. It's no different than using bags to clean up after your dog. For odor control, urine should be kept separately. We recommend the Awoken's unisex portable urinal, but many other types are available. Living in a van adds one more bricks and sticks home to the inventory that wouldn't have to be built. A huge benefit for the environment. It can be parked stealth nearly anywhere and can easily go through drive throughs With proper maintenance, it should last at least 20 years and 200,000 miles. We are in the Orlando, Florida area within a few minutes of all the attractions, all kinds of beautiful springs, and an hour and a half or so from the warm Atlantic or Gulf of Mexico. According to the Audubon Society, as of 2017, 369 unique species of birds have been sighted on the north shore of Lake Apopka, the largest inland number in the United States, and it's just 10 miles away. Alligators, otters, and bobcats call this home as well. Many of the area springs have manatees. Rent a kayak on the Wiki Wachi Run and see the mermaid show as well. The weather from October through May is fantastic. June through September can be muggy inland, but there's nearly always a breeze on the coast. There is a reason Florida is the number two tourist state in the nation. Should you wish to ship your finished camper to the west coast instead, it can be delivered along a main route for as little as $1,000, a little more if it's door-to-door -door service.